Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In our last episode we launched the first vehicle that will be used in our LAFE rescue mission and we docked it to our orbital station for refueling. And today we are going to launch it on the mission to LAFE and going to get into the orbit and wait for the fuel to arrive later. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a time window for our burn to dual orbit and we're going to start our maneuver planning. I will see you when the time is right. And here we are. Less than one hour to our window to dual. Let's do the last pre-flight check and decouple from the station. So let's see if we have all the fuel. Yep, all the tanks are full. And now we can undock and start our transfer. Here we go, undocked and using our RCS thrusters, we are going to get away from the space station so that we don't collide with it and nothing bad happens. So let's align the planets properly and create a maneuver node at approximately 4 hours o'clock around the Kerbin orbit. And immediately we have a close encounter with Jewel, we just need to tweak it a little bit to make sure that we are getting close by and that we are captured in a proper time and place. As you can see, some experience in creating maneuver nodes definitely makes it easier and much more efficient Compared to our first missions to dual space, we're doing it much faster now than before. And we say that this maneuver node is sufficient for our goals and we're going to use it. So let's align to the proper heading. And let's time warp close by. As you can see our ship was also equipped with another docking port because our first idea was to create the old style mission as in dock the interplanetary stage to the lander stage and use it to transfer to Joule. But after doing some experimentation I found out that such design is just too heavy and it is really, really hard to do. So we are going to do this staged mission. This first stage will spend almost all of its fuel on the way to Jewel. And then we are going to send another mission, which will be literally just a fuel tank with a robotic probe and some engines to get there and to refuel in orbit of Leif. Afterwards, we're going to land, use this fuel to get back into the orbit, dock again, refuel, and use this fuel to get back to Kerbin. And here we're creating our maneuver node to tweak a little bit our approach to Leif. And it looks pretty successful. So now we can engage our time warp drive and compress time to 10,000 of normal speed. And using the magic of video editing so that this time doesn't last for 20 days but only for a couple of seconds. 
and here we are close to our proper maneuver node and let's execute it and as many of you have probably noticed this ship has one design flaw namely it doesn't have any means of power generation or any batteries it will be a little bit problematic but i think we will manage so our maneuvering is almost done let's create another maneuver node and tweak it a little bit more sounds pretty good to me and now we are going to time warp until we are entering into sphere influence of Jewel and this part I'm going to time warp even more using the power of video editing on our approach to Jewel we are also going to create another maneuver node to tweak our final final approach we want our periapsis to be approximately 20 kilometers away from the surface of the lathe so that we can do our aero braking and not lose any fuel especially considering that we don't have that much so let's create our final alarm for the sphere of influence change between the Jewel and Lathe and here we are now we're going to do experimental aero braking because it's really hard to decide which altitude we need at such speeds at such uh, attack angle I think it's the proper term for this kind of re-entry It's really hard to determine the proper altitude for the periapsis, so we're going to do it experimentally. The first one was obviously too high, and now we're going to check if this 19 kilometers is okay. And apparently, it is not. doesn't work so let's go lower this time we're going to try for 18 kilometers during one of our previous missions we had to go as low as 17.5 kilometers kind of suicidal but uh, it was required to establish the orbit and this time 18 kilometers is way too low not only we're getting the orbit we are also going down and going to land no so the next stop is 18.5 And by the way, while doing this, we created some nice Kerbal Pate because the G-forces experienced it by the Kerbals or the Kerbal which is piloting the ship are extreme. They are off the charts. So 18.5 was too high. So the obvious conclusion, 18.25. And here we are, our orbit is getting rounder and we're captured. Now let's see if we are going to stay in orbit or if our periapsis and apapsis are going to fall too low 
And it doesn't look like that. It seems that we are going to be fine. Yeah. Our final orbit is 500 kilometers on 16 kilometers, which is obviously not good. So we are going to change it on our next apapsis to make sure that we don't error break into the ground. And here you can also see me turning off all the torque and all the reaction wheels so that we don't spend all of our electric charge. And the next thing I'm thinking about is actually trying to circularize. But it looks like we won't have enough fuel for proper circularization. So we're going to go for what we can. It won't be a perfect orbit, but we have to do something for now. Hopefully it won't prevent us from doing the proper docking procedure. And we are going to try to augment our circularization by using the RCS thrusters. But it's just taking too long. And unfortunately it is that time when I have to say thank you all for watching. Remember to like, dislike and comment this video in the section below. In the next episode. We're going to launch our refuel mission and finally land on the lathe to rescue Jebediah and Bob. Once again, thank you all for watching. My name is Darlock and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.